Hi, I'm Steve from Norfolk and Good Road to Self-Sufficiency. It's a beautiful sunny afternoon. Uh, it's Saturday the 8th of October and what I'm doing now is just getting my uh, garlic bed prepped and ready. So behind me there is our fire pit. So we've just got half a barrel full of potash and we're going to spread that on and uh, get the bed ready. So come with me, let me show you. So last year I planted the garlic in that bed over there and we're going to use the one that the potatoes were in this year. So I've just raked that over and now we're going to add the amendments to it. So we've got the stuff we're going to be putting on to this bed. We've got a wheelbarrow full of homemade sieved compost that is just beautiful we've got half a barrel of potash that we're going to spread around and then I've got two grades of eggshell uh, that's almost a powder so that will help bring the uh, calcium out fairly quickly and then the larger lumps there will break down uh, as the garlic grows that's the plan anyway. So that's now got two barrows of compost on and the <coughs> uh, ash from the fire is on there as well. So what we're going to do now is just sprinkle over the crushed eggshells and then put a fleece on it to keep some heat in. So that's the eggshells on just going to put a fleece over it and then we'll leave that for a week or two uh, for when I plant out my garlic. So here's my fleece that's been stored in the shed throughout the summer. Uh, as you can probably see I've sort of knitted it together to be able to hang it up and keep it tidy. It's a brilliant way of keeping the fleeces stored without them getting in the way. So that's the fleece down. We'll leave that for a week or two before getting the garlic out and planting that. I'm so pleased that uh, with all the shenanigans that are going on at the moment, fuel shortages, prices going up, that. I'm so pleased that I decided to start being a bit more prepared and starting to grow more of my own vegetables. So this was just a short one today. I've got lots of other things I need to be getting on with, but I just wanted to show you how I prep my uh, garlic bed ready for planting. I had a good harvest from it last this year from doing the same thing last year. So fingers crossed. Thanks for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you've not already done so. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you at the next one.